Hello there, this is Alana Tucky, your resident favorite statistics instructor. And this time I'm going to go over my math lab, how to do the homework, how to do the assignments, and so on. All right, so let's click on homework. Now the tests are going to work very similar to this, so you won't need to see the tests. Um, homework is fine. You can see, oops, I'm in trouble. Those are past due. Let's click on an assignment. Let's click on, oh, I don't know, section 3.2. Why not? There we go, 3.2. Now you can see I have 10 questions assigned here, so I've got 10 problems to do. And by the way, anyone with a little green video mark means that there's a video to help you with that assignment. We'll get into more into that into the next tutorial when I go over the help menu. Let me click on a problem here. It's going to take it a second. Great. All right, so I can see all 10 problems up here in a row. If there were any more than that, I could use these arrows over here to get to them. All right, so it asks the sum of the deviations about the mean always equals, let me, that's zero. Let's see if I get it right. You can go down here to check answer. Yay, I got it right, done. So now I've got a little check mark by that question. Great, so I did it. Let's go to number two, click on number two find the sample variance and the standard deviation. Whew. All right. Well, I'm just going to type the wrong answer. All right. um, I know this answer is wrong. Don't mind me. I'm going to do it wrong on purpose. So I got it wrong. I say, no, darn it. Uh, maybe it's this. Nope. What about this? Nope. There is my answer. There's the correct answer. Done. Now you can see it's got a little red mark by it. That means that I got it wrong. Hmm. All right, so let me get this done as well. I'm doing it wrong on purpose. There we go. All right, I got the whole thing wrong. Look, I got three tries for each one of these, and I got them both wrong all three times. So it gave me a little red check mark. Now, how do I redo it? Let's say, oh, whoops, I forgot. I knew how to do this. You can go down here and click Similar Exercise. And when you do that, it'll give you a new numbers Right, same problem but different numbers and you'll have to redo them and find the variance. Let me pause it and go do that calculation. Shwing, it's like magic, I know. Actually, it occurred to me you might like to see how I do this. So what I like to do is have Excel open but make it kind of a smaller window so I can still see the data and I can sit here and type it. And then variance, you'll learn this in a chapter three tutorial is this command right here, VAR enter. All right, so that's 29.7, and while I'm at it, I'm going to find the standard deviation as well of this data. Again, that's in a section 3.2 Excel tutorial, so you can find that later. All right, so the top number is going to be 29.7. The bottom number is going to be 5.44977. All right, let's see what it wants. So up here, I'm going to type 29.7, enter, enter. Great, I did it right. They want to the nearest tenth. All right, let me go back. That's 5.4. That's the tenths place, so it's just going to be 5.4. Let me click back here. And Excel isn't gone. It's just down here, so you can click back on and get it back. Or click it off. There it is. So let me go 5.4. Now you can click Check Answer, or you can just press Enter. There you go. You got it. Perfect. Now that red mark was turned into a green mark, and you've got credit for it. Now let's say you have to stop. You know, your kids are needing lunch or whatever. So you can click Save. It'll save everything you did. See, I've got credit for those two. And then I can always go back later as long as it's before the due date and do the rest of the problems. Right? I can click on question three and it'll take me right back in. You have unlimited tries to do and redo and redo the homework up until the due date and then it closes you out and then you can't do anything anymore. Um, one other thing to notice over here, you have some buttons. We don't really need these in statistics very much, but if you ever do need a fraction answer, you use the fraction button. Say it was like two-thirds or something like that. That's how you do it. But to be honest with you, we're not going to use these very much. All right, that's it for the first portion. Next portion I'm going to go through, well, start to go through some of these help features over here on the right-hand side. So stay tuned.